Hey everyone, welcome to this uh, VHF UHF channel. And I am uh, presently um, tracking the International Space Station. And the International Space Station has some packet around 145.825. So what I'll do here is I'll add this frequency 825 FM to the list in uh, satellite tracking software uh, ISS packet which are digital bursts of data for amateur radio it's kind of a packet bulletin board that they have on board so here it goes and now I press the receive so that it actually uh, uses my radio so if you see here you have the International Space Station it's coming for a pass over Montreal pretty good pass and as it gets closer you'll eventually start hearing the packet uh, that will actually be breaking the squelch of my receiver I've put squelch so you don't have the uh, radio hiss all the time and usually the International Space Station comes in well enough that it will uh, actually I'll hear the packet through the the squelch so this AM Radio Deluxe software has a tracking satellite tracking software that's actually controlling my radio that's why you see the frequencies here and VFOA and what it does is that it controls my ICOM so if you look at the ICOM here at the top the ICOM receiver right here is being um, controlled by the software using a uh, serial to USB adapter. I had some crashing issues with that but I fixed it this morning while uh, checking out why it was crashing and I was able to uh, just reinstall the driver of the uh, serial adapter and now works fantastically well. So we should uh, technically in a few moments here some of these uh, digital bursts. Now these are packets so uh, basically you can use a packet software that will just show you the I ID. So here it just broke and I think we should have some reception. But uh, what's cool about the International Space Station is they often have a slow scan television and voice on 145.800. It's not the case today but it's uh, something that's quite possible very often so it's pretty cool and uh, it's one of the fun things of VHF UHF listening tracking satellites tracking the International Space Station and just uh, trying to receive them on my radio so we heard one packet burst we should hear more if I heard one now it should actually come to a point where it's strong enough that it will go through the uh, squelch and you'll hear a data burst so you see that the uh, frequency is changing on my receiver magically by itself with the control of the uh, receiver of course Of course, it's more, much more exciting when it has slow scan TV or some mode that you can actually hear or decode something. Uh, this is basically a bulletin board system for any amateur radio operator that is set up for packet. You can actually use the packet bulletin board system on board the International Space Station, basically. If I remove the squelch here, we'll see if we hear it through this without the squelch.
you hear the packet coming through. We're still going to try if there's anything on 800, but uh, there's usually nothing on 800 right now. We're supposed to have some slow scan TV eventually. And nothing there, so we'll just go back to the packet frequency. So these are the packet bursts from the amateur station on board the International Space Station.